One star. Five star. No way. <laughs> Holy. That's amazing. There's a five star goose. Right over here. Unbelievable. gauge like it um now do we need a site for this i didn't buy a site i think there is like a dot site yeah there's a couple couple dot sites here i don't know what the difference is one times low one times low let's get that one i think actually we'll get the nice one we'll get the nice one william always wheel storage nice a male pheasant in there Somewhere. Where are you? Oh, you're right here. One star young. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Five star mature right in front of us. <laughs> right there. I think that was it. I think that was it. <laughs> what the heck? That was fast. Uh. Uh. Did I get the right one? Five star. Okay. Well, that was quick. That happened literally instantly. <laughs> 468. 88% genetics. Wow. All flesh hits. Sheesh. Let's go. Five star pheasant. Take it off the list. Let's see if we can get another five star bird today. I would love to get a double. Double five star. Double five star birds. So that's the pheasant out of the way. I, I say we travel up. See how we can do for ducks, geese. Can you explain how to make a bad herd into producing four and five starts? Yeah, shoot the, the animals with the bad genetics. So the old animals that are like one and two star and three star. Keep the adult ones. If you've got like an adult one star, you could probably shoot that. But anything like adult two star and up, you don't know how big that's going to get, right? That could even turn into a five. Adult three star, don't kill those. I would shoot all the matures like one, two, and three star. If you've got a mature four star, let it grow. It might turn into a five. But yeah, you're just removing the bad genetics and then letting it respawn into hopefully better genetics. I would love to get a diamond, a five-star goose, I mean, right now, to go with our pheasant today. That's the one I want the most. I want that five-star goose. Um, every animal has genetics, a, a genetics percentage out of 100 that they have from the time that they are spawned into your map. It doesn't change. So when the animals are one-star young, you have no idea. There's no way to tell what that's going to turn into, right? What what that's going to, if it's going to grow huge or if it's going to be a small one-star mature. When the animals respawn, they are going to be a one-star young and they will have a genetics percentage that you, will, you won't you will know until you let them grow a little bit. There's a four-star scop in there. Holy. Not quite big enough. But that's a big one. We shall let it grow. We shall let it grow. If you're going through and you're culling your herds and you're taking out the bad genetics. Think of it this way. Every animal has a rating out of 100%, right? Every animal has a genetics rating. It could be 4%, it could be 99% or anywhere in between. So essentially, if you think of it as, you know, your, your entire population, essentially then, if you took every animal and we made a, like basically if you could see all of your animals of a certain population, right? Say, let's say all your moose. If we could see all of your moose on your map in a list and all their genetics, we could come up with a percentage for your entire population, couldn't we, right? So you essentially have a percentage, not only for every animal, but your entire population would essentially have a percentage too. So you're working on getting that percentage up. And the way to do that is to shoot the low genetics and have them respawn as higher genetics and have that collective percentage be higher. I know it's all, everything's super complicated with the Call of the Wild. We've gotten so used to that. Nobody knows what the heck's going on or how the system works, but that's not the case in this game. It's very simple. There's some gooses. The one star in there, one star, five star. No way. <laughs> Holy, that's amazing. There's a five star goose right over here. Unbelievable. Holy, what luck. Let's go, let's get over there. Get the skydam with the shotgun. 
think we can get up to that ridge across the river without spooking them. I think that's fine. You can usually get pretty close. 120 to 140 away. Good wind. All right, where are they? Right down in here. 60 to 80 meters. They're right down. Right down in there. Where's the five? Still calm. Can't quite see them. This way. Oh, they're over that way too. Okay, here we here we go. Where's the five? Right there, right there. That's our guy. He's right in that bush. Don't want you to be in that bush. Gonna have to swivel out to the right a little bit. Let's see if we can get a look. 60, about 60 meters. I want to get quite a bit closer than that. Spawn stock on a goose. Never done that before. It's going to be way the Hunter KC Planet, yeah. KC Planet Season 2. Season 1 ended prematurely because Way the Hunter came out. This game makes way more sense for KC Planet. So I've just got a, quite a bit of preparing to do. I've got to come up with cinematics that I will be using photo mode for. And get that all put together. So it's going to take quite a bit longer for Way of the Hunter episodes because I will have to do the, you know, the different cinematics depending on what species we're covering. And those can take quite a while because you got to get real close. But it's coming. It is definitely coming. It's going to be a thing. There's the five star right in there. It's going to be really challenging having me in that bush. Because they keep moving around. Let's see. I can't currently even see him, but he's like... Oh, he's, he's moving still. Like, this is going to be so difficult. I can just get up on this hill, like right up here. Without that wind being an issue, we might be able to see him. Okay, move through here. Yeah, that, that works. Let's see. Zero this for... Oh, I can only zero it for 25. Okay. He's right there. Oh, pff, I can't see anything. No, no shot. Right there. Where are you going? Coming back? Pretty sure that was the right one. <laughs> did we just actually did that just happen? Did I shoot the right one? No way. Wait, hunt rating four. That was the right one. Wow, that is like the coolest thing I've ever done. Hunt rating only four though. Why? Am I not supposed to use a shotgun on... Oh, because I hit it twice. I hit it... I did hit it that first time. Huh, that's crazy. I smoked it with that first shot, and that didn't take it down somehow. Second shot, absolutely... Like, that's like... Wow. Wow, crazy. I'm surprised that first shot wasn't enough. Like, that's a lot of pellets. We'll take it. That's an insane way to get a five-star goose. <laughs> Pretty epic. Let's go. 482. 95% genetics. That's a nice goose. Taxi that. Woo! It's my first goose that I've shot. It's insane. You gonna get that shotgun tonight? Yeah, it's a good... I mean, my first two kills with it are five stars. <laughs>